a delicate political atmosphere surrounds Jordan's King Abdullah's visit with Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas. Just a few weeks after tension and protest at the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound in Jerusalem's old city. Security measures imposed by Israel at the compound sparked mass protests lasting for days. Israeli metal detectors and cameras were eventually removed, widely viewed as a victory achieved by the protesters from occupied East Jerusalem. Abbas severed security coordination with Israel as a result. Israeli attempts to make changes in the status quo in Haram al-Sharif is happening more frequently and more viciously. Uh, it's a Palestinian site, and in the same time, it's under the, the Jordanian custodian, according to agreements between Israel and Jordan. Therefore, uh, long-term uh, coordination between uh, Jordanians and Palestinians is becoming more and more important. The meeting here on Monday between King Abdullah and President Abbas is a show of solidarity after this recent tension at the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound. But it also comes at a time when both of their relationships with Israel are severely strained. There was an incident at Israel's embassy in Amman, Jordan last month. An Israeli guard shot dead two Jordanians. He said one attacked him with a screwdriver. It's unclear what exactly happened. An investigation is underway. But Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is being criticized for personally greeting the man involved in the shooting, hugging him when he returned to Israel. There is a lot of bad blood between King Abdullah and Netanyahu. Uh, as a result of the incident in Amman with the security guard, the reception he received, um, uh, Abdallah and Jordan are furious at Netanyahu. And I believe that a visit by the king under these circumstances to Abbas is extremely um, uh, non-routine. The two leaders are expected to make statements after their meeting on Monday. In addition to the events over the last few weeks, some think they might also discuss the United States and the dormant peace talks. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Ramallah.